Hello team and welcome to today's video for Excel where I'm going to be sharing with you how to import data from websites as well as SharePoint sites and how to combine multiple sources into one file. Let's jump in. Let's start off with the basic example of pulling in data from a website. On the data tab, select from web. In this dialog box, we need to enter the URL for the page we want to gather data from. Heading back to our example site, the URL can be found right up here. So I'll copy this, head back to Excel, and paste that in. And if you were looking to connect to a SharePoint site, if you paste in the URL, you generally want to ensure that you just include the site name in your query. Heading back to our previous example, I can now click OK. Select the table that you want to load, and it'll display in a preview on the right. From here, you could use transform data for cleanup, but since we can do that directly within our Excel spreadsheet, I'll click load. And as you can see, our data has been loaded. If you'd like to manage the refresh rate of this data connection, you can right click the data connection on the side and select properties. From here, you can see under refresh control, you can select to refresh the data every so often or when reopening the file. Now let's take a look at how to combine multiple website sources into one Excel spreadsheet. Head back to From Web, enter in that first URL and click OK. Just like before, we're going to select the correct table and then we'll click on Transform Data. To add in our second source, we're going to select the new source dropdown and then Web. We'll paste in that second URL and click OK. Now we'll click OK again. On this spreadsheet, we are going to perform some cleanup. I don't need column three because it's blank, so I'll right click and select Remove. I also want to make sure these columns are labeled correctly, so I can double click into the column and update the name. From here, I'm going to filter out any blank rows or rows that contain text and click OK. After some final cleanup steps, I'm ready to combine these files. So I'll go to Merge Queries. You can see my GDP table is listed at the top. So for the bottom one, I'll select list of countries and territories. And you'll see here that I need to select a matching column. And in order to do that, I'll select location. For join kind, I'll select inner for only matching rows and click OK. And team, as you can see, my data has been combined. Not only do I have world and country populations, but I have economy size as well. All you have to do now is select close and load. And now our job is done. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos.